Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are live again um, for uh, another session out of the Word of God, another prophetic session. So I'm just uh, waiting for people to come up and all that. Praise the Lord. God is a good God. Amen. Um, well, I'm, I just want to say that uh, we've had a lot of back feet. Welcome, uh, my wife, Oni, from Jakarta. I love you dearly and I miss you so much. Welcome, baby. And uh, thank you for your support, even though you're in Jakarta and I'm in Malaysia. Uh, but thank you for your support and prayer every day uh, to me. Amen. To God for me. Praise God. Christine de Bring, uh, you are welcome. Welcome. Uh, Susan van Vieren, once again, welcome. Praise the Lord. Welcome, Fanny. Amen. God is good. We can have a wonderful time in God today. I'm telling you now, I would try to make this message short. It depends on the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome, any Indrawati. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, good afternoon. Yeah, amen. So we will have a wonderful time. I just want to testify. Uh, ever since we've been broadcasting these messages, um, ever since this, uh, we were on, on lockdown here in Malaysia. Uh, welcome, Linda. Lim Guni, welcome, praise God. We were on lockdown ever since, we, you know, we've been praying for people and bringing the message, and I had a lot of uh, feedback. Welcome, Tungai Sehan. Welcome, praise God, praise God. Welcome, yeah, praise, praise the Yerim. But we've got, a, we had a lot of feedback, and uh, people were healed, I'm telling you. Uh, the prophetic word that went out was received well, and, and uh, people were touched by it, and people wrote back to me, yeah, it's me, it's me. Thank you so much, and um, I can, just can give God the glory, amen. And uh, we, we, are, we are really now here to just uh, welcome Sonia from Pakistan. And uh, I mean, so we, we, are, we are really uh, very excited uh, about the fact that, you know, God is good. And, uh, um, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you right now, we, we, just, we just get a lot of feedback. Amen. And I can just thank God for it, honestly. Uh, welcome, Sarah from Antioch House of Prayer. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Just give a, cup, a minute or so. And I just want to share while we're just waiting and um, as new people are coming up right now, um, it is really an honor for me. Welcome, honey, uh, uh, Yayas Putra from Indonesia. It's really an honor for me to be able to, you know, to bring the word of God. And the Lord spoke to me even when this thing started to coming up, you know, and they locked us down and the church uh, doors were closed. I was upset. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I was upset and I was, you know, it, it was, um, <coughs> excuse me, and, um, I, you know, I, I like interaction. I, I want to be with people and all that. Uh, but God told me, I have closed the door of the church. I'm bringing the world now to the doorstep of my people. Flood my message in, in, in social media. Bring messages of hope, that which I pray in your heart. Amen. So now uh, we, uh, that's what we are doing and uh, we've been praying for people and all that. And uh, um, yeah, praise the Lord. Pray for me too. Amen. Uh, I'm all uh, alone here in my room, in my little apartment here in uh, Cyprus Jaya. But God is good. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome JJ Sneeman once again. Praise the Lord. So we just wait uh, another couple of seconds and then uh, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be starting. Colleen Pinto, welcome. Um, amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. More and more people is coming up right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Echo. Welcome. Uh, and, and so forth. Praise God. Praise God. More and more people. Ooh, there's a lot of people up coming up right now. So, amen. Praise God. God is a good and a merciful and a wonderful God. Um, welcome, uh, Sian there. Welcome. Uh, good morning, JJ. Now, uh, well, praise, praise God. God is, uh, uh, I, I can, you know, I cannot be quiet about God, the wonderfulness and, and all that. This morning early when I, uh, when I welcome An Anton Indrawata, this morning when I, you know, when I woke up and uh, the Lord just uh, spoke to me and, you know, I, I just had such a wonderful time with God. And because I wake up and I was a little bit depressed, you know, and I'm honest with you, I didn't feel too well. And, uh, you know, all kinds of thoughts came into my mind and I knew you got to get to God now. And I, I just started to pray and I just came and sit at the feet of Jesus and, and he just lifted me up. Amen. And all. And, um, 
yeah, sometimes we go through some difficult times and, you know, we, we uh, especially during this time with, the, with this virus that's hitting the planet, everybody's affected some way or another with this uh, virus. And uh, welcome, Wanda. Wanda there. Wow, well, I haven't seen you for a long time. God bless you. And uh, I mean, now everybody's been affected with this virus. And uh, but, you know, I was just sitting at the feet of God and this morning and uh, uh, just opened my Bible and uh, the Lord was just sharing with me. And then, then this message was born, uh, what I'm going to preach now uh, for a couple of minutes. Hallelujah. So once again, I, I just want to repeat again for me, people are coming up. We've got we had a lot of response from people. Amen. Uh, that uh, uh, when we pray for the sick, they recover. Uh, people were set free. Uh, people were, you know, fear went and uh, prophetic word. I hope to do it this uh, after the message to release prophetic words as well. And uh, you know, we, we've we've really been uh, we've really been seeing a whole lot of lot of people being touched. I mean, hello, da Gert Meiberg from uh, South Africa, Cape Town, West Cape. I think you are. Uh, praise the Lord. Yeah, we must pray for the homeless people. Gert uh, Meiberg uh, say they they don't have food. They in South Africa. Come on, we gotta do this. We 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 just gotta we we just gotta get bring these people to God. Amen. Uh, Cecilia Tan, welcome. Uh, my old friend uh, Rudy van Onslen. Hello, Pelly. I miss you, man. Here is Senior Rudy. God Senior. Amen. Hallelujah. So um, yeah, I think we we have quite a number of people that's already up and. And uh, so let's let's get into the word of God. Are you, are you ready for the word of God? I mean, so let's just get the, in, into the word of God. And uh, let me just have some tea. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. Let's go to the book of Mark chapter number four. Let's go to the book of Mark chapter number four. And uh, let's read from God's word there. Mark chapter number four. And we'll be reading from verse number 35 to verse number 41. Mark chapter number four, and uh, we'll be reading there from verse number 35 to 41. So can I, I will start reading. You can just follow me and I read from the New King James Version uh, and this, at this moment. Okay, let's, let's get going. On the same day when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Verse 36. Now, when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was, and other little boats were also with him. <clears throat> and a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Verse number 39. Uh, then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? No faith. And they feared exceedingly and say to one another, who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? Hallelujah. Welcome Luther, 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 they from South Africa. Uh, welcome Rudy Hoffman. Praise God. Honored to have you with us. Uh, great teacher of God's word. I will come Anton Indrawate. All right. Now, uh, this is, let me just uh, ask, as God gave it to me this morning. Now I'm going to, I'm just going to illuminate the scripture by the help of the Holy Spirit uh, to, to, so that we can have an understanding, the revelation for what we are going through right now. Amen. I mean, yes, we are, uh, people are telling me sometimes, uh, you know, we are so sick and tired of hearing about coronavirus, coronavirus, and about what's happening in the world. Uh, but we are facing this. We, this has been happening and we, we, we have got to bring hope to people amen I, are you with me today and and we we have got to to bring hope by the word of god and by the revelation that comes from the holy spirit 
Are you with me today? You know, we, we, this is not a platform for us as preachers to preach our doctrine. And that which, you know, we, uh, because many have changed through the years and they've, some, some have take, taken the doctrine of grace and they're running with it. Some have taken the doctrine of prosperity and they run with it. Some have taken the doctrine of the apostle, uh, apostolic, this and that, and they're running with that. Some have taken the doctrine of this and they're running with that and all. And, uh, 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 we, we are not here to, to preach doctrine. We are just here to preach the simple word of God, which is the truth. Amen. Through the, through the Holy Spirit, amen, to, to give us understanding. So let's, let's, let's just look at what, uh, what the Lord is saying to us today, amen. A message that I feel that came to me uh, this morning. So let's just say, now the Bible says in verse 35, let us cross over. So Jesus, on the same day when evening had come, he said to him, let us cross over. So Jesus was saying to the disciples, let us, all of us, let us cross over. Let me tell you one thing, God knew. Hello. God knew, Jesus knew, uh, the storm is coming. Did you think he's, he was taken by surprise? He knew a storm was coming, but yet he still say, let us cross over. Today the Lord is saying to you, in the beginning of this year, I mean God saying to you, let us go through this year. Let us walk through this year. The Lord knew that coronavirus is going to hit in, in, in this time. He knew, but he still say, let's go, let, let's go. Amen. I mean, God is not afraid. Jesus is not afraid of this storm. We are children of God. We should not be afraid of this, of this uh, uh, virus that's been, that's been around now. Amen. Come on. We, we need to fix our eyes upon all. So God knew, Jesus knew a storm is coming. But yet he say, let's go over. Let's go. Let's go. So let's take the hand of Jesus uh, this afternoon and morning, some part of the world that is, uh, let's take the hand of Jesus and, and we say, God, wherever you lead, I go, I go, amen. And uh, we, we can, we can completely and totally know this today that God will always be with us. Now let's see. So now in verse number 37, it says there, it says there, and a great, and a great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. So we see that water was filling into the boat and the great storm, uh, the great windstorm. Now, a windstorm is, is, is something like a tornado or something. I mean, like, uh, the Bible calls it a great windstorm. So a, a massive wind was coming. Uh, that was, that was, that was, you know, that uh, waves that, that, that uh, made these waves to grow bigger and bigger. And, and it was hitting against the boat, hitting against the boat. And I mean, these disciples were maybe most probably falling to the left and falling to the right. And they were holding onto the poles. And they were, they were like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? You know, they were fearful like, like it is today as well. We see many reports. We see many negative reports on this virus. And we see many things happening. And, and we are holding on to the, whatever we can in home and stuff like that. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? The storm is hitting against our boat. A great storm is hitting against our boat. Your boat is your life. It's you. It's your ministry. It's your business. Uh, it's your secular work. A great storm is now hitting against it. A great storm. And we, all of a sudden, we, we have been hit by something that has been taking us completely by surprise. Let me say to you, I mean, we've never expected in the beginning of this year when we all had our New Year's parties and stuff like that. We never expected to go through what we are going through right now. The storm is hitting. It's hitting our life. It's hitting our boat. It's hitting our ministry. It's hitting our business. It's hitting our secular work. It's hitting our family. It's hitting us. <coughs> Excuse me. It's hitting us. So come on. What happened? Let's look further. Verse number 38. But he, Jesus, was in the stern asleep on a pillow. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Here we see Jesus sleeping in a stern. <laughs> And he was in, and, and he was very comfortable because he's sleeping on a pillow. That tells me he was very comfortable. He made himself very comfortable. 
and he was sleeping. Now, the question that the Lord asked me this morning is, did the storm awake Jesus? No. The storm didn't awake Jesus. Jesus knew already there's going to be a storm. The storm, that was no surprise for him. He slept. He knew that we're going to get safe on the other side. He knew it. The storm was there, but Jesus was sleeping. Sound. Maybe he had a good dream and all. I don't know. But he was sleeping. But the disciples woke him up. You see, this storm is not a surprise to our God. And we need to have an understanding that this, this virus that's running around right now, God is in control of it. We will get to the other side. I'm saying to you, and I'm going to say some more things here. We will get to the other side. Hello, Anita. Hello, Marty Day from Zerest. We will get to the other side. Are you with me today? Amen. And this, this virus is not going to stop us. Definitely not. We will still get to the other side. Now, now look at this. Look at this. And they awake him. Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? The storm didn't wake up Jesus. The people woke him. He cares so much that they, that he woke up when they, when they said, please help us, please. Listen to me. Everywhere around the world, and I've seen many uh, uh, video clips on Facebook and internet and, and, and Instagram and all these social media stuff. I see many how people are praying, how people are crying, how people go on their knees even in the street praying. People are putting um, uh, um, uh, uh, speakers on the outside and, and, they, and, and they're preaching the gospel and all kinds of things. They are praying. This is what gets God's attention. Amen. And this is what, and, and so when something gets God's attention, the next move is God goes over into action. Are you with me today? God is going to go into action right now. We have got God's attention. Just like, just like when Jesus was in a boat here, the storm didn't, didn't wake him. No, the people woke him. Please wake up, master. Wake up. Are you, not, are, you not, are you not concerned that we are perishing right now? It was the people that wake him. All around the world right now, people are praying. God has put the people into their homes. Families are getting together now. Families are holding hands. And the people are praying. People are praying. People are praying. We don't have to put up a show any longer. Stand on the pulpit and put up very one big show and whatever. We don't need to do that any longer. This is serious business. I'm telling you right now, amen. I'm telling you now, as a prophet of God, I'm saying to you now, we've got God's attention. We have got God's attention. Just like here, Jesus woke up. The people, he got the people's attention. Like I said, he was sleeping when the storm was there. But when, 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 when the people came and said, please, I woke up the disciples. He woke up. He woke up. Now look what happens. Now look what happens. Then he arose, verse number 39, and rebuke the wind and say to the sea, peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Now, we must read this properly. This is a, 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 an incredible revelation, I believe. Amen. And he said, he said, he, he, he stood up because they woke up and he rebuked the wind, the cause of the storm. The sea was not the cause. The sea was rough because of the wind. You see, many times we rebuke the wrong. We, we, we go out and we rebuke everything. We've got to find out what's happening here. So, so we can rebuke what needs to be rebuked. Jesus knew it was the wind. So he said to the wind there, rebuke the wind. But he said to the storm, peace. Now, I believe... Our God is in this moment in time is going to rebuke this virus. But he's saying to us, be calm. There is hope. Don't be fearful. Be still. Know that I'm God. Psalm, 100, uh, Psalm 46, 10, 11, 10 around there. Be still and know that I'm God. 
Amen? Be calm. You see, we, we are all anxious and it caught me this morning too. And I know it can come easily. We are human beings. This morning when I wake up at about four o'clock, it, 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 it got to me. I'm in a foreign country. I'm not in my own country. My visa is going to end soon. I don't know what to do. It, it got a hold of me a bit. But then I went to the, to, the, to the feet of Jesus and he gave me this. Thank you, Anton, Psalm 4610. And he, and he still know that I'm God. And he came and he gave me this. I will rebuke this virus. But you need to be calm. I will still supply in all you need according to my riches and glory. I will never leave nor forsake you. You are still a head and not a tail. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. Amen. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. So that's why we need to have the, we need to have that understanding right now. The Lord is busy. I'm telling you now. It, you know, uh, from from a, a, a human perspective, it might not look like that, but it is. I'm telling you now around the world, and I want to repeat this again. I'm sorry if I repeat many things over and over, but around the world at this moment in time, people are praying. People are going to God. The Lord is, 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 is busy rising up, rising up, I mean. Amen. We got, he is saying, you got my attention. Now let's see what happens. Now let's see what happens. He rebuke the wind. And he said to the sea, come, be peaceful. Today he's saying to us again, be peaceful, be peaceful. Verse 40, but he said to them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Jesus was astonished by the fact that these disciples walked with him. They saw the miracles. They, they hear his teachings on, 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 on the mount and all. Everything, they, they see him. And, and, and he was surprised. Why? How is it that you have no faith? I think, I, I, I personally think Jesus expected them to take care of the storm. Amen. And Jesus is now expecting us. Who is in you? Him, Jesus Christ. So let him work through you. Let's take care of this storm. Are you with me today? Come on, say amen. Come on, write down there. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, praise God. I want to say this, that God is going to do something so special. God is going to do something so special in this time. And I'm saying you a lot of revival and uh, I mean a revival will come. People is going to raise up. People is going to, people, people that, that you never expected is going to start doing miracles. Prayer is going up all around the world. During this time I've been seeing many visions. Many. And I only can thank God for it. The Lord has really blessed me with this, with this, this spiritual insight in many things. And I'm telling you right now, something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. But don't go and sit and let fear grip your heart. Don't allow that. You are a son and a daughter. Of the creator of this universe. The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. The God of the Bible. The Lord Jesus the Christ. Jesus the Messiah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is our captain. He is our general. He is our, he is our leader. He is our king. He is the king of all kings. We follow him. Amen. I hope this message blessed you today. Read through it again. Mark chapter number 4 from verse 35 to 41. And God bless you. Father, I just thank you for your mercy and your grace, God. I just thank you for your mercy and your grace, God. 
Thank you, Lord. Father, I just want to pray right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, hallelujah. I just want to pray, Lord God, that we will hold on to the fact that during this time, that we will know and believe that you will never leave nor forsake us. That you will always be there, God. That you are the God that do miracles, that perform miracles. Thank you, Lord. You are a wonderful and a merciful God. And there's none like you. Father, I praise you. Father, I worship you. And even in this time that we are going through now, Lord, that the world has never seen before, we have never experienced this kind of thing. I mean, the people never experienced it that's, that's been alive, alive right now. This is all new to us. But even in the midst of this, God, we focus on you. We focus on you. We focus on the word of God. We make statements from God's word, prophetic statements from the word of God. And we trust in God. God is going to take care of this virus as he took care of the storm in Mark chapter number four. He's going to take care of this. You keep your peace. You know who you are in Christ. Stand on your authority. Do your prayers. Do your intercessor prayer. Do your Bible study and also bring hope to people. Come on. Flat the social media. Bring hope to people. Listen, people. I've got to say it as a prophet of God. There's so many theories out there. Conspiracy theories and all. And we focus so much on that. That we have that the devil has caused us to focus on that. We don't focus on the word of God. We don't focus on what we need to focus on. As a prophet of the Lord. The Lord already told me. Virtually 100% of these theories are, are not the truth, really. So I want to encourage you, please. Let this thing pass by. Let it pass by. Amen. Get to Jesus. Hold on to the Lord. Take the hand of God. Go forward with God. That's all. Amen. I don't, I don't, I don't hear, I don't, I don't worry about these conspiracy theories and all that kind of thing that's going around. So and they, there's many of them. Really, I focus on Jesus Christ. I focus on the word of God. And what I do is I preach the word of God. Amen. And because that is what's going to bring hope to people. And that is what's going to take care of this thing. Not conspiracy theories and stuff. No, but the word of God is going to take care of it. So let's let get that out of the way and get into the word of God. Come on. And let's preach this gospel. Because this gospel, the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom of God, the power of God, is what's going to change this. I don't care who does what and what does what. I only care what God says to me. Glory be to the Lord. God is a good God. Come on, give God the glory and the honor. Praise Him, praise Him. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's people here that's got a lot of fear still. When you find yourself alone, you let this thing take, take hold of you. Father, I rebuke that fear over these people, some of them, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus the Christ, right now. I rebuke it. And I say, fear, we strip you of all authority and we cast you out from, in, from us in the name of Jesus. There's people right now uh, and I'm said last time, but Lord showed me again. There's people that has coughing and, and all that, and you're thinking you have this virus, and uh, maybe you haven't tested yourself yet, or you're too afraid, and all that, and this is gripping your heart, the fear. So I rebuke that fear, and I cast you out from God's people right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and I declare a fire of the Holy Spirit against you. The word of God is against you. In Jesus Christ's name. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. There's a person here 
uh, that has got a, 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 a pain on your on your left leg and, and it's really bothering you, the, virtually the whole left leg. And it's like it's like this pins and needles pain, but it's con continuously, especially when you get up in the morning and sometimes you battle to, I don't know if it's gout or whatever, but there's a lot of pain there. So in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now, pain, go. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right now, be healed. 1 Peter 2, 24. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are healed right now. I release it in Jesus Christ's name. Babi andre be geen karabas kara baba andre. Vendra be geen karabas kara baby geen kara andre bandre andre. Kere be geen karabas kara handa. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you God. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. There's people here that uh, uh, there's a, there's a person here. I, I see a person here. It's it's, it's a lady. Uh, I don't know if you're up right now or you're going to watch this later, but there's a, there's a lady here and you are very concerned about your oldest son. Um, but the oldest son is not living with you at this moment in time. He is in an overseas country, but you are really fearful and all that. And uh, it, it really grips your heart. So I just want to say to you, the Lord is just saying to me to say to you, your son is going to be okay. Your son is going to be okay. So Father, I pray for right now, we take our mind captive to the obedience of the Lord Jesus the Christ. And I rebuke this fear over her right now in Jesus' wonderful name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. You're a good God, a merciful God. Thank you, Master. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Glory be to God. Glory, glory, glory be to God. Oh, Father, we bring honor to you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, and we worship you, Father. Oh, what a, what a mighty name, the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Gladly we bow our knee. And with all our heart we acknowledge Jesus Christ is Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. A wonder, wonderful God we serve. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Savior. Hallelujah. Please, guys, share this video. Share it as much as you can. Let this message go out there. Share it. Share it on your Facebook. Share it wherever, YouTube, you know, and all that. Just share this. Amen. And uh, put your prayer request there. Please, put your prayer request there. We pray for it afterwards. Just if It doesn't matter how big or small your prayer request is. Just put it down there so I can, I can pray for you. And uh, me and my wife will be praying for you tonight and stuff like that uh, when we have our prayer meeting and, and together. So we like to pray for you as well. Amen. And uh, this is free. <laughs> you don't have to pay me. It's free. Just put it down there. Put, put your, put your uh, prayer request uh, down there so, so I can... I can, I can pray for you. Um, amen. And we can pray for you tonight as well. We love to pray for you. We love to bring your name before God. And we love to pray. Many times God shows prophetically about you as well. And we just pray prophetically over you as well. What the Lord is showing us. What the Holy Spirit is opening up to us. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. So just put your prayer request there. Amen. So we can... We can bring you before the, for the throne of God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Tomorrow morning, uh, 11 a.m., uh, my, my church service, you are all welcome. Uh, I pray for you, Stevie. Yes, I will pray for you. Thank you. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., my church members, Antioch House of Prayer, we have, have our service live on Facebook. Please be there. We're going we're gonna to play some music. We're going to just worship as well. I'm going to put the music on the background here. We're going to worship the Lord for a while, and then, then we're going to get into the Word, and, and we're going to pray, and we're going to see what's in God's heart. Amen. Tomorrow, 11 a.m., Malaysian time. 11 a.m., Malaysian time. Many South Africans are following me as well. It'll be 5 a.m. your time. 11 a.m. will be, we are six hours ahead of you. So please, uh, um, please um, uh, tune in so we can, uh, we can have a great time in God. Are you with me today? God loves you. God cares about you. And me and my wife love you and we care about you. Amen. So please put in your prayer request there. Please put in your, Pastor Lindo Thomas, welcome my, my dear pastor. I've met you some years ago in Indonesia. Hallelujah, from uh, you from India. Welcome. Amen. So put your prayer request there, and uh, we, will be, we will be praying for you. Amen. I will be praying for you, Stevie, for sure. 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on, guys. Put your prayer request there. Put your prayer request there so we can, uh, we can, just, uh, we can just pray for you and all that. Amen. Come on. Come on, guys. Um, I, I, I really, I, I, I have a need to pray for you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm coming. That's why I go and pray. Put your prayer request there. It doesn't matter how big and small it is and, and all that. And uh, so we can pray for you. Amen. Now, come on, share this video. Share this broadcast. Amen. Share this broadcast. It was, a, I believe it was a powerful word. Amen. And so that God can, God can really, really uh, uh, do what he needs to be done. Amen. <coughs> <coughs> Share this video and so uh, we can. Um, I'm very excited to see what the Lord is doing. Come on, are you with me today? Amen. We do not have a spirit of fear. No. We have the Holy Spirit. That's what we have, the Holy Spirit. Come on. God loves each and every one of you. Amen. Share this video. Come on and put your prayer request there. All right, I'm going to say Shalom until tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. I have my church meeting with uh, my church, uh, Cyber Jai Antioch House of Prayer. My members will be up and uh, we all, we all, we all uh, um, invite you please to come up. Amen. Let's pray together and uh, let's, let's, let's just, just come and it, it'll be, it'll be five o'clock in South Africa. And uh, I'm not sure in India time. Uh, there's a lot of um, in, in, in Malaysia, Indonesia. Uh, Jakarta will be one hour behind. Uh, if it's 11 a.m. Uh, in Malaysia, it will be 10, 10 a.m. in Jakarta. Uh, so so are, you, are you with me today? Amen. So uh, we, we, we are going to uh, 11 a.m. Uh, we have our church seven ten 10 a.m. Jakarta time. Bali, it will be 11 a.m. again. And uh, uh, for sure, David van Amerva, I'll pray for you. Just, just tell me what, what is your need or we just pray prophetically. Even if you don't have a need uh, or put it down there, I will pray prophetically for you. Amen. So praise God. Amen. All right, guys. So I'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Malaysian time, um, 5 a.m. South, South, South African time, um, uh, Jakarta time. It will be 10 a.m. And we're going to have an incredible time with God. I'm looking forward to it. God bless you. I and my wife only love you very much. Amen. Cheers. Shalom.